Everyone's like, I can't believe you won. I'm like, I took second. Corn run, dude. I haven't seen Ken in the last week, dude. Money Mike. Money Mike. Apparently, that's where they draw the line of of safety. Too too dangerous. You guys love bringing up my embarrassing (laughs) ass. That is all you love bringing up. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sponsored now. Oh, I I got to plug back in. Being sponsored by Cheetos, I don't know if that's good, man. My friend Evan... He uses Cheeto like it's a bad thing. So we're, we're not doing that then? No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you being sponsored by Cheeto, I don't know if he would think that is Cheeto or not, you know? Uh, I, I think he'd say it's Cheeto, and Cheeto is not good if I've learned anything from Evan. Cheeto's bad these days, yeah. I guess. Yeah, a lot of – he has a lot of things and people that he think are Cheeto. I mean, <laughs> if Evan likes you or whatever your thing is, you're a, a delicacy. Not a Cheeto. You're rare. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't be Cheeto. Got it. Mike got his seven hundred dollar chair. It's a comfy chair though. It's a hell of a chair, Mike. Yeah, is how that is a magnetic headrest on that I mean, motherfucker? That's crazy. Such a flex. Look at that. That's the softest pillow I've ever felt, by the way. Yeah, I was like, if I could if I could have like sleep on this at that pillow at night. Mike, why don't you buy a bed made out of that pillow? You should buy a Red Bull bed. If they made one, I would. You'd think Mike was sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> He's just that kid that just yeah. bought everything Red Bull. He's got so much adjustability. Like, the arms go in and out, back and forth, up and down, obviously. Yeah, man. You don't have to sell me on it. Good chair, man. You need a good chair in, in life, whether you're just sitting at your computer or gaming. Or maybe you could have, like, your whole, like, dining room set at your house to be <laughs> just surrounded by those Can nice you chairs. You're like, I bought... The nicest chairs for our guests. That'd be like a really good move for a streamer house. I bet you Sydney would love it though. Having those chairs, it's stylish. My buddy Ken bought oh. a nice chair for his <laughs> office. Wouldn't. I can't remember why, but I took it and he just never asked for it back. <laughs> it's because he's a non-confrontational guy. It's straight up, dude. He just go and buy a new one. He did. That's exactly <laughs> what he did. It's amazing. I grabbed his chair and was using it for, I think, the day. And he was like, um, you're going to just use that chair? I was like, yeah, I'm just, yeah, today. Okay, well, I already ordered another one then. <laughs> I was like, oh, bro, I didn't plan on keeping it. I was just you. I was just borrowing it. Had it for like 20 minutes. And he's just like, well, I got to get another one. It then. did work out pretty good. Wait, gonna... so did he order another one? Yeah, I have the same chair as Ken. <laughs> that is how you acquired that chair. Yes. I just figured you liked it so much that you went and did like any normal person would do and order it themselves. Obviously, he didn't give you the option. <laughs> no. Yeah, it ended up working out. No, I mean, I this is justifiable uh, to an extent, obviously, spendy, but, like, we spend a lot of time with our butts in office chairs, unfortunately. you got to have a good chair in your office if yep. you're going to spend a lot of time in there. Yeah, a Red Bull Racing Oracle Secret Lab chair. <laughs> yeah, Mike, yeah, you really do need a full-on F1 NASCAR chair. Yeah. Sometimes when I come in in the morning, my buddy Mike's sleeping in his office chair. Yeah. I've had that a couple times. You yeah, walk in true. there, he's just kind of like... You already know how I... Te- yeah, I tested it, dude. I was like, all right. If I had to take a nap, how's it going to feel? to sleep. <laughs> oh, my oh, my gosh. gosh. Dude, that is legit. All right. Well, welcome back to the Life Wide Open podcast where we love chairs. We actually, we love chairs around here. We, yeah. <laughs> like, all chairs. All chairs, yes. dude. Yeah. We, we were working with uh, one of our new designers and, you know, kind of just gave them the reins of just like, hey, you're familiar with our style. You know what we like, you know, kind of present us with some logos. Well, he gave us a chair logo, like like Sea Boys TV, plastic chair white logo. plastic chair on yeah, a bunch of stuff, is. and we were like, "Dude, that's amazing!" Gets it. Goes hard, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it I does don't know go if we can hard, show man. it or not, but it's it's honestly sick. I don't, but we didn't choose it as one of our two, so we had to choose two, and we didn't choose that one. We'll do it I thought it was though. sick. Maybe we'll do it next time. I just thought it was amazing that this guy was working so hard that he went back and watched all the videos, and then like picked up on the reoccurring chair theme that only happens once every... I mean, it's not like it's reoccurring every video. He picked up on it and then used, integrated it into a design without us even mentioning it. Yeah, it was good. That's like doing your due diligence and... You know, Understanding your really, client. Really, really <laughs> going above and beyond. No, he is. Yeah, he made like sure. 30 designs for us to pick two. How many chairs do you think we've smashed? Hundreds. In, in our channel. I'm having like Vietnam flashbacks. I just remember well, that. We were watching back when we had a our one million party and we went pretty rogue. I ended up like hitting a 
stack of 10 of them with my three wheeler. <laughs> and then it was just like, everyone was standing there just picking them off, chucking them at the ground. <laughs> but I bet we've in our existence of the channel, probably at least a hundred. Oh, I bet it's more easy. I bet, I bet it's, yeah, I bet it's minimum 150. 100. Throw yeah. in at least 10 tables mm-hmm. that have been smashed through 15. That's AB. standard procedure. It's just so That's standard, though. There's just something about it when it hits the ground, that initial snap, you're just like, I'm powerful. Yeah. Like yeah. that, you just... You know, feels like right. You, it does. It does They're feel just right. so brittle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we need to find chance. a more cost-effective way to keep doing that. We could start selling our own. We start making the perfect chair for breaking. Wow. I think the problem with that is you get high on your own supply, and that back will be <laughs> empty very fast. Oh, man, dude. We would run ourselves <laughs> dry yeah. so fast. <laughs> yeah. I oh, man. So is Ken not going to be sitting on, in on us with the day? No, I don't what? think so. I haven't seen Ken in the last week, dude. Me either. He last weekend. sit here for one hour. Mm, I know. What about the... I heard Jake had a story. I don't know what the story is, but I want to have Ken in on this. I, oh, we got to have It's yeah. a true story. It is a, I think Ken needs to be here to defend himself. For sure. Right? Let me call so, him. I mean, whether he can maybe pop in at the end of the podcast, we can carry on, but... This is actually how we communicate with Ken now. He just like gets on. What the fuck? We're like, yeah, that's how he acts always. <laughs> He's just in a bad mood at that one moment. Your call has just been keep forwarded. keep calling him. Man, why well, was the long ring? No, he's down there. I guarantee he goes. Um, give me a couple minutes. Um, uh, ten fifteen minutes. Or he's in the bathroom. He hates taking phone calls when he's in the bathroom. Yeah, you're disturbing his peaceful time. Yeah. Your call has been forwarded to voice. All right, let me. Help. He's a busy man. Your call has been forwarded. Dude, what could he possibly be doing? Yeah, last weekend we went bowling. Mm-hmm. The whole crew, we were all together. We're going bowling. He's like, no, no, no. I'm going to go to bed. Tired from all I'm my tired. shipping. And we're like, all right, understandable. You know, disappointed. And then after bowling, we come and find him at the bar. I think he just needs his alone time. No, he <laughs> he just wanted to hang out with his favorite friends. Oh. We're nice. like his he just works with us. He just yeah. works, <laughs> works with us. Yeah. He just works with them. You know, I don't really know those guys. Can you imagine asking that? Why, why would you not go out with them? Well, are you going to go have beers with your coworkers every weekend? I don't think so. So I'm not going to do that either. my friends. Yeah. 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 Well, Jacob, thanks for being here today, dude. Yeah, thanks a, for coming me. I have a gift for you. A I gift. saw this, and I thought of you, and I, I think oh, you need to wow. put it on your car. It says, if driven carefully... Please report stolen. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Thank you. That's great. That's dynamite. Yeah, that's going right on. That is honestly very truthful. Right on what? I don't think oh, I've ever good. seen you not driving at a, like, there's an urgent activity happening. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's like I still have that, like, little, tiny little ping in my brain. If I see one of my friends, I'm like, oh, I got to do something. Like, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but, it, like, anything. I'll look for something in my vehicle, or I'm just like, if I got nothing, I'm like, I'll just floor it. I'll just, yeah, that's <laughs> all the there. Oh, 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 here, oh we go, here, here we go, here we go. go. Hello? You called? What are you doing? Uh, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Why so mysterious? What have I been doing all day? You're still in the bathroom? <sighs> Fuck, you got me? <laughs> <laughs> Come be on the podcast. Okay, I'll be up there in a second. Okay. Okay. Nice, you got him wow. down for a minute. <laughs> you know, I, I walked out to my truck this morning, and there was a bumper sticker, or I should say like a back window sticker on mine, and it said Chubby Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who put that on there and or how long I've been driving around with it, but I was like, oh, and uh, I tried taking it off and I couldn't get it off because it was so cold. It was literally right on there. It was one of those stickers that's like, you know, you take it off or you, you can just get like a little str- like string of it. And I was yeah. like, well, this sucks. And now it's still on there. Chubby chasing. Chubby chaser. Not sure who put it on. I literally to, don't know who put it on. That just goes to show that, like, just simple pranks. Like, I mean, what if you want to call it? A I prank, thought it was like funny. That, I'm not mad. Yeah, about I mean, it. it's just so. It's like never not funny. I remember like a couple years ago, somebody hit me with some good old window paint that just said "honk if you're horny," and it's just like that's still funny to me. Like just stuff like that. A window sticker that says "chubby chaser." The only thing I can think is Evan has been kind of like putting castle x stickers on all of his stuff and he was he like i saw he put one on the back of his truck so maybe he put 
that on mine, which doesn't really make sense. So you've been putting yeah. it on his stuff. Okay, maybe oh, I've been I was like, <laughs> <spikes> <laughs> on his. <laughs> don't you see what I was doing? <laughs> and I was like, saying, no, no, I don't think that. <laughs> so I don't think that's how that's going. I think you're trying to self sabotage in the fact of you thought that sticker was cool and you're trying to be like, ha ha, chubby funny chaser. Chubby yeah. chaser. But you wanted us to be like, nah, man, that's sick. And you'd be like, all right, you know what? It is sick. I'm going to leave it. But you want a justification before you said, I put it yeah, there. Yeah, as my girlfriend sitting yeah. right next to us off camera. I, uh, I, nothing wrong with chubbies, though. Yeah. I, I often wonder. There isn't. There's nothing wrong no. with chubbies. No, 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 no. Big girls need love, too. Yeah. I often wonder. What's going through people's minds when they put like the big like fuck it stickers? You know, like the yeah, it, fuck it. Yeah. with the, like, the, the guy like, the company it. <laughs> yeah. where it's like you can't even see out that window. All you can see is oh, that the big the, one. Yeah, well, ben, like the big one. I think they only have one response to your question. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. and that makes sense. Exactly. That makes sense. That's why it's interesting on your truck too. So like CJ's truck. Fully stocked, doesn't have a sticker just or a chubby chain. You know, like, clean. You'd thought like a fifty year old well, dentist drives my truck. <laughs> that's why any sticker that just the singular sticker has so much value, whether it's a brand or a funny thing. Like when you see a Chevy with a bunch of aggressive stickers on it, you just go, huh, that's just the type of guy that guy is. He put all those on himself. Come to think of it, I was filling up and I was there was a couple gals that came and talked to me. <laughs> like it might honestly be a little bit more of a magnet now, yeah. you know. It's the only thing on your truck that defines who you are. Right. <laughs> that's, the, I mean, yeah, that's true. They're just like, oh, that's true. he's that guy. Dude. Anyways, I got a couple things I didn't talk about before Ken uh, gets here. Something crazy that happened. My dad blew up his plane while flying the other day. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. When he, like, called me and told me he was in the air, like, when I hung up with him, like, my first reaction, like, I didn't even get nervous and nothing because I think I had so much trust in him that, like, Oh, he's going to be fine. He's going to put this thing down wherever. And then after I thought about it, once I like saw the block and I'm like, man, to like any other person, that's probably not normal. Like just like think if you're like over water yeah, or definitely anywhere. Bad. Yeah. So wh yeah. what did he do? He was just like on the radio, like, Hey, I'll be home in 26 minutes. Hey, I'll be home in like 20 minutes. And all of a sudden he's just like, Hey, I got to land like right now. Like something really bad's happening. I don't know what. And like, he sent me a video and it literally sounds like take any motor you guys have messed up what it sounds like when it's blown up, that's what his plane sounded like, but you're flying. So Terrible. it sounds like the thing's falling apart mid-flight. Right. Did he land it on the highway? No, no, he didn't. He didn't land it on the highway. Where did he land it? He turned around and just landed at, like, the closest airport, which, like, okay. he could coast to, but, like, he's like, yeah, I think I can make it home, and then it just got worse and worse and worse and worse, and huh. it's just, like, you put, like, so much trust in, like, oh, he's got yeah, it because no, no, he's no. just yeah. done it forever, you right. know? And then, like, I was just thinking, I'm like, dude, if that was me... I'd probably be having a I'd panic I'd be panicking, attack. dude, yeah. in, a, in a small plane with a propeller. So the propeller quit spinning then? No, so, like, it was still running, but it was, like, it was, it was just running <laughs> rough. And you don't know, like, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. can happen and get out of balance and stuff like that. But, like, That's statistically, he, he, he beat the odds, you know? Like, his motor quit, so now it's not going to happen for another 40 years, so he should be good to go. Yeah, because, what, he's got to have that thing rebuilt every two years, every five years, or, like, you, you got to take certain precautions. It goes by hours, so they make you, like, once you hit so many hours, I don't know what the number is. Let's say it's 2,000 hours on the motor. No matter what, you just need a, a whole new motor. You get yeah, you can't down mess around with it. You. Yeah. The older I get, the more I realize how cool it is that Dave has his own runway. Just, like, at yeah. the shop there with the hangar. And, like, you know, you can fuel up and fly out right there. Like, that is so sick. Yeah. So handy. That is so sick. Anytime he wants. And it's so funny you say that because, like, it's just been, like, a part of his business. But so many people are like, where's your dad going? I'm like, oh, he's just got to fly here and fly back. And he can just do it within a matter of, like, a couple hours. Well, like, he uses it like a, like an Uber. Like, he just, like, straight <laughs> up, dude. You know, I worked for Dave for uh, four years. And, dude, the dude would just fly in grab lunch and fly out i still to this day don't know where he was going or what he was doing because you can't you gotta just like kind of fly around i'm like How, what's he doing up there <laughs> he's just like keeping an eye up from the sky but like i i do realize too like most pilots just also just kind of do it for fun yeah because it's fun like flying's fun and uh you know, the more I think about it, I'm like, I wonder if Dave was just, like, flying around all day. Just, just to like, fly. For fun. <laughs> just <laughs> like, how much can he do I'm from working. the air? Yeah, I'm working. He's just burning fuel, just yeah. driving around. 
But I always like thinking about him. Like I think when he does, if he ever retires, which I don't think he will, but if he did, that would be his hobby. He would just fly places because he just enjoys it so much. Yeah, most most pilots do. Yeah. Dude, I was cracking up last night when <laughs> so Jake was telling me that Dave was on an '80s cruise uh, with his wife, and that's just funny in itself. He's like, but he's been gone for ten days. Man, has it been nice having him gone? I'm like, well, why? It's he's like, full. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah, run, full. dude. And I'm like, well, why is that? Like, it's not like you work for him anymore. And he's just like, dude, if we don't have, if me and Tony don't have our radios on us, he like, we get in trouble yeah. just because he can't radio us. And then he called him. He got done with the cruise last night and he's on his way home. And he's like, calls him, Junior, I sold you another pair of sunglasses. You better ship those out right now. Yeah. Well, he texted Look me. Look the order up. He texted me a picture of him. Let me just show you guys this picture he texted me. He, he sends me this picture, right? <laughs> Classic. Of him standing in front of this phone. <laughs> his Classic. Shorts, and he just goes, Look my glasses. That was the three words he sent. I said, Looking good, Dave. Still don't know what he <laughs> meant or why he felt like I should get that. Whole that that picture. is such a him thing. Like, what do you mean by that? Oh, I don't know. I just I thought you should know. I'm like, oh, all right, cool, thanks. Like, yeah. and that that was it. He just had like, he made a connection somehow that I don't think you could make again. Had to send it to that person, and that was the end of the conversation. Yeah. What's up, Ken? You made her. What's up, Ken? Welcome back. I just so happened to be <laughs> at the Roadhouse and find out found out some pretty crazy information about you that like i just thought i had to share with the world it's pretty <laughs> simple information about me about you so i was at the roadhouse and there was like a bunch of your old friends from high school okay and they were all like it's <laughs> like oh, fuck. Okay. i thought i had them all sign an nda <laughs> <laughs> and anyway so i was like sitting there and they were like asking how everything's going just chopping it up and they're like yeah it's just so like Crazy how how far like you guys have come and like it's crazy we used to know Ken in high school and like how how good he's doing. I'm like, yeah, he's doing great. And I don't know how it kind of came about, but I basically they said something like, Yeah, I just can't believe how far he's come. And I'm like, Well, what do you mean? And they're like, Well, I just remember my last thought of him is he was playing the gong in band class. And that was <laughs> like his thing. Is that like rock bottom? He's like, well, I don't were you <laughs> It is it's like, like you gong. are the you easiest are, instrument to play. Yeah. Just, you just hit it one time. Yeah. You could get away with doing basically nothing in band class. You've been you doing this your whole life. Because <laughs> it, it was like basically a free hour to sit on your phone in high school. Like, Holy what shit. kid doesn't want to do that? So you I mean, can play the gong like, like a son of a gun. Oh, hell yeah. Go. I haven't done that in years. Yeah. That's so Did funny. you have yeah. a certain technique with yeah. the way you'd hit it or what? No, no. Just like, oh, shit. Like, my part's coming up. Oh, uh, I think this is right. <laughs> Hit it. Hit it. So do you practice that? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't do shit. <laughs> so why do you get to choose that or did you get that stuck on you by the teacher? I honestly don't remember. Either way, I think it's hilarious that you ended up like whether you chose it or the teacher chose it for you. <laughs> There's got to be some just, videos out there. Yeah. Right? I'm telling like you. some some parent yeah. filmed it. I thought they were kidding. And they're like, no, for real. Like he crushed it. And I like when when they initially said it. I was envisioning like Ken just having a panic moment, not knowing to hit it and just smash. It. That's just like the total wrong time. But yeah, you've I come a long way. Yeah, Ken. yeah. They made a really weird connection with that as well. They're like, he's came a long ways. I'm like, what, what, I was really expecting some like <laughs> no, crazy story. no. Like, I, I was expecting I don't know where this is a little more than that. He wet his pants every day in the morning. Like, you know, Ken, I don't know. Ken is uh, like, that's it. That's yeah. the that's the worst thing they could come up to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like, that's perfect. <laughs> I got off clean then. Yeah. Yeah. I love how I'm, I totally shouldn't have said anything. I'm so overhyped. You're like, guys, I, I got, really got the best story. Crazy, yeah. Yeah. Yo, really yo, impromptu podcast. Yeah. Everyone Jake's gets here with something. Yeah. 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 He played the gong in your, high school. <laughs> but your dad in you is really showing through with yeah, that. Yeah, I, 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 100%. <laughs> I, my, I don't remember it because I guess I was too young. And I've been trying to find the video, but I haven't been over there in a while, so it's kind of hard to ask. But apparently when you graduated Sunday school, which is like what, like third grade? Fuck, that was... Yeah, I don't know. Like a long time ago, obviously, he stood up in front of the church and they like said like what you want to be when you grow up. And you said you wanted to be like rich and famous or like famous and good looking or something like that. I'm trying to find the video, but I got to go to church to do that. Man, Ken, you're doing a Damn, great Ken, job. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have come a long ways. That's what I'm saying, He's got dude. dreams. I feel like that story's play. been embellished <laughs> to the point where it's just not even true. 
Do you no, happen you, to remember what it was? No, it was, no, that was like, I thought it was rich, Randy does. pretty, and famous. Okay, that, yeah. Randy could, talks about that all the time. It is one of his favorite stories about you. And I wanted to get the video to have proof, so I'll, I'll work on that. But I feel like, like that was bef- like the very beginning of video cameras. I doubt that exists. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, if you set <laughs> the church sign in NDA. <laughs> if you said it or not, like you got it. You're famous and you're good looking. Yeah, dude, you Thank did you. it. do it all, You man. fucking did it. Yeah, God okay. blessed you. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Ken, <laughs> oh, you you fucking nailed it. You dude. know what's gonna happen? We're gonna like find all this stuff out about Ken. You're gonna start digging around trying to find it, and they're just like, I cannot talk about that. Come <laughs> to find out, <laughs> Ken has the whole town NDA up. Yeah. They're just like, you gotta sign this. You gotta sign this. It's a huge payday if they talk. Yeah, so that's true. That's Ken true. walks into a gas station, buys a candy bar, leaves. Two lawyers come in. Was Ken, yeah. you're gonna, were you the one that talked to Ken Matthews? We're going to need you to sign, sign these. <laughs> I was just thinking that. like, what? That'd be kind of a, a, a pretty abstract prank, but you just meet someone for like a couple minutes, and then you have them sign an NDA after. Dude, that's actually a funny idea. Yeah. Uh, if you could just not repeat that you even know me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> There's got to be lawyers, though, behind them. Yeah. How's yeah, like, it been going back yeah. there, Kenny? We're doing great back there. It's we're, we're crushing it. We're getting some stuff packaged up every day, and... It's good. It's, it's a lot of volume moving in and out of that place. Got a good team, though, back yeah. there working yeah. with you. We absolutely love Shopify. You guys know this. You've heard me say it. But seriously, if you need an online store to sell online, you shouldn't even consider any other options because Shopify is the best way to sell your products online or in store. Running and growing a business means getting the insights that you need wherever you are. With Shopify's single dashboard, you can manage orders, shipping, and payments from anywhere. And obviously, you want marketing made simple, right? So Shopify removes the guesswork with built-in tools that help you create, execute, and analyze your online marketing campaigns. We absolutely could not run cboystv.com without Shopify. It makes it easy and honestly makes it fun to own and manage our store from anywhere. Their app is top-notch. Shopify really is the best. And guys, you don't have to sell your own stuff anymore. With Shopify Collective, you can curate products to sell from brands that you love, giving your customers more variety and your business more sales. So sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash wide open. Okay, so (laughs) there's a fight coming up. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, right? As soon as that got announced, first person to call me, my dad, he goes, we're going. I'm like, what? He goes, yep, I want to see it. He goes, I want to. He's like, someone's going to beat that kid, and he's going to be Mike Tyson. No, he's like, oh. not. So that's, I'm like, that's yeah. the side Dave is Isn't on. Isn't Mike there. Tyson yeah. like 60? Yeah, but dude, he's I don't care what is it. Like, if it was like an actual, like, I don't know if it's going to be staged or how it's set up, exhibition. Like, if you were to just put those two people in a room, Mike be. Tyson's going to walk out. I, I'm going to watch it, and I'm like, I think it's going to be really cool to like watch that. But it's not the same as Mike Tyson in his prime. You know, Jake Paul is really, there's nothing to like slough off about his boxing. He's good. He's gotten way better. He's beating like actual pro fighters. You can't talk shit. I think Jake Paul is a really good boxer. Mike Tyson obviously was a really good boxer, but he's old now, dude. And like, I feel like there's going to be some kind of rule where he can't get hit in the head. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when him and I can't even remember. Jones Jr. Yep. John. John Jones, who is it? Roy, Roy Jones, Jones Jr. Hit, when him and Roy Jones Jr. boxed, it was an exhibition, an exhibition, and they, there was no shots to the head. Oh. And honestly, I mean, Mike what Tyson is the definition 60 of years that? old. Who wants to see a six-year-old man get knocked no. out? What's Not that? I, I, know. I, like I don't watching know why fighting he would get, like, like, he's like already that, got enough damage from all his years of getting hit in the head. I just, so I don't know. I have a feeling he's got a pretty good team behind him. It's probably worked out where Jake's not going to knock him out. Do you think he could if he wanted to? Jake Paul? Yeah. 100%. Mm. Do you think, I think he so. could knock him out if it was just like one-on-one, full-on? I think so. I think so. I do. he's so fast still. Like you just. Well, how many times has he been KO'd? I'd say, I mean, I don't know the exact, but I can at least name like two for sure. Like I know uh, Buster Douglas knocked him out in China. That's how he pretty much just downfall. Mm-hmm. Um, or it was Japan. And then uh, I know there's like towards the end of his career when he was broke, he should have been retired a while ago, but he was just fighting because he needed money. And, like, he got, you know, knocked out a couple times. Same, he's been knocked out five times. Yeah. And that's just in an actual boxing match. So right. you got to consider when you're sparring, you know, all the years of training. You see this video 
of uh, recently of him fighting, dude. Yeah. Dude, he's looked a pretty yeah. vicious, yeah. dude. No, he's absolutely, killer. absolutely, he's vicious. He's dude. but he is a sixty year old man. <laughs> I agree. For for his age, that's crazy. Yes, it looks really good, but I still just to me, it's kind of a stupid fight. I think it's going to sell a lot of tickets. A lot of people are going to watch because you have to. But, you know, it's a young guy in his prime versus a so that, clearly out of his prime. You know, he's yeah, nothing like yeah. his prime. Like, yeah, he's looks he'd kick the shit out of 99% of people. But, like, a trained boxer who is in his prime, I just don't think it's a fair matchup. But I think it's an entertaining one. Mm. Right. And so, that's why we're talking about it. But exactly. that's where it opens up where you mentioned earlier, can't hate on Jack, Jake Paul. <laughs> I don't know who initiated. No, 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 I don't know who initiated. You have to do that. You no, have I'm, to do that I'm not saying anybody is. I'm just saying like, how, and then you kind of finished up with it's not a fair fight. It isn't. It's just not right. I mean, so in that terms. Yeah, but. it's tough. I am just here for it. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm so excited. We all I'm are so it. excited. I'd love oh. to like go to the fight. But uh, yeah, you'll see the Instagram comments. Like no one's happy. No one's ever going to be happy. Yeah, but, but the problem is Jake gets so much hate the way it is, which I think he doesn't deserve. He's proven himself already. All I'm saying is, like, I just don't think it's the same as any of other the other matches that Jake has had. Like, I don't think it's going to be the same intensity or, like, I don't know. I just find I it hard like to believe that they're... be they're, the vibe they want to kill each other. I just know? feel like it'd be hard to believe that, that there is not a rule in there where Jake can knock Mike Tyson out uh, yeah. or where he can't knock him out because, like, I feel like he'd be protected. Mike Tyson's making a lot of money now. He seems to have a really good team behind him, so I... Yeah, you they would let him it. get in there, but that's what makes it kind of lame. Because like, who wants to watch a boxing match? That's or you not, know, it yeah, takes away from it, like yep. an exhibition boxing mm-hmm. match where you can't strike to the head and you know actually go full on. But it's still gonna be super fun to watch. I think. Jake, did your dad ever fight Mike Tyson? Fight Mike Tyson? <laughs> no. Who was the <laughs> guy that he was in the same thing as? Obviously, <laughs> Roy Jones Jr. No, no, no it was Ali. Mike. But wasn't no, like, was but no. Ali. If Dave fought but Mike Tyson, Tyson bro. it would make a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, he had a story. No, he you had know, a story, bad. though, because yeah. when he was in... So my dad won Golden Gloves in 1987. They're a heavyweight champion, Golden Gloves in 1987. And then in 1984, Mike Tyson won. And then in 19... 19- 63, it was Cassius Clay, which is actually Muhammad Ali. But the same year that my dad won is the same year Roy Jones Jr. won, but he was not heavyweight. Oh, Always weight yeah. class. Yeah, I got a picture of it. It's pretty cool there. And the dude, Dave is like the, I don't know if this is bad or not. He's like the only white guy there. Just like, it's all these just beasts. And then you just see Dave. Yeah, we're, dude, I mean, that is crazy. Yeah. Like, that's insane. From Cormorant. Dude, it is Fighting like, <laughs> out of Cormorant Village. <laughs> dude, you guys, I have the, like, I just, like, I don't know why I didn't watch this a long time ago, but I, like, I have the whole Nationals tape of when he fought on really? DVD. And it's, like, the coolest video of all time. Like, there's a huge arena, and everybody's, like, screaming my dad's name. And I'm really? Like, That's Damn, so sick. That is pretty sick. Where was it? Knoxville, Tennessee. That's crazy. Were they, were they screaming, like, sure, Brooke, or were they going, Dave. <laughs> no, it was Dave. Okay, okay. Yeah. But it was uh <laughs> Dave. Yeah. Dave. No. Dave. What was he fighting for? It was like amateur yeah, golden was, gloves. Yeah, it was just amateur golden gloves. And then if you won that, you got to go to the Olympic trials and then Olympic it, trials to the Olympics? Yeah. So he was supposed to go to the Olympic trials, and it is so funny at the end. He's just like, Oh, my goal is to win three fights. I won five, but now I'm gonna go back to work. Like, he's just like, they're like, you thinking about going pro? He goes, no, I got to go back to work. I got to get back to Turvin. Yeah, like, that is just like. (laughs) Wow. Dave Duty, he's like, yeah, dinner. And then he never fought again. Wow. So he went out on top. Went out on top. Went out on top. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Was it pretty crazy watching him beat the shit out of people? Dude, it was just weird to watch because, like, I was literally like, when you watch it, he looks just like me, but he's freaking yoked. Like, I'm like, okay, he's in my shape times a million. Like, he just looks like a big, scary dude. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's really cool to watch. Are you still gonna fight him? He won't do it. He he's got arm problems and shit. He's like, it's not worth it. And he goes, and he goes, I don't want to burst your bubble, but he goes, I'd kill you. And I go, yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm like, I kind of want just a slow mo clip of you just rocking my dome really? and I hitting the mat. I'm like, I think it'd be cool. Like, how many people can say they got beat up by their dad? And I'm like, wait a second, bro. <laughs> Why but, do you think he'd kill you just because it boils down to technique? Oh yeah, like and then you wouldn't have that technique. And right, training. I just He'd like be more conditioned. But I'm getting trained by the guy that I'm gonna fight. You know, like I only know as much as he shows me. And like, so he'll like set up a movie camera, and they'll be like, "All right, let's do this, 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 and this." 
and then we'll watch it back. He's like, okay, see that right there? I would have knocked you out. See this right here? Would have knocked you out. And like Ryan, actually, I sent him the video when I was hitting mitts with him. He's still so fast. He can like catch my punches and sneak a punch in and hit me across the head. And it's like light speed and you just don't even see it. And I'm like, how did you know how to do that? And he's just like, it's just like you learn it. Just there. And like, it's just so cool how he like sees it. And I'm like, I would never want to fight you. I'd die. Dude, Uh, David walk in the ring, eating gummy bears, put the bag of gummy bears down and it, knock you out and then have gummy bears on the <laughs> yeah, way out of the ring <laughs> you'd be like training super hard that's the thing like if you want it'd be like damn dude you asshole you knocked your dad yeah, out yeah i know so i decided i was losing but i told him like i'd love to do it he's just like but he's got such bad shoulder pain and he might feel like surgery and stuff so i was like damn yeah, not whatever. worth it maybe one day when he's like in a wheelchair <laughs> <laughs> reminds me reminds me of hot rod then you're like ready yeah. for this yeah that's literally what yeah, i remember yeah, yeah, right, i'm right, gonna right. get you better so i can <laughs> kick your ass <laughs> i'm gonna fix your heart so i could beat you to death <laughs> yeah dude fighting's big fighting's big dude yeah. like what uh one of our workers i won't say who or and what's going on but one of our workers like signed himself up for a real boxing match no MMA. Like, ufc mma yeah. wow yeah. i actually yeah. even more Sam corrected that that's that's even more i'm hardcore. definitely going to that yeah i'm yeah. like dude if we can make it like that's awesome yeah that? as long as we can uh, we guys two is one in grand forks and like one in minneapolis but uh That'll be cool to watch. My goal it's is Ken's like, bodyguard. Actually, Ken's been paying him on the side. He's a lot. Him around. He's a lot smaller than Ken, but clearly trained. Yeah. He's <laughs> lethal. My goal is like I just want to do one amateur fight, just one, just like that's all so I want to do. Here's what I wonder: is like, is that first one? Is that where the addiction happens, though? That's like a, you might end up really liking it, and you'll never know until that first one. Yeah. I feel like a lot of it you might just have built into you though too you know like you got to be the type of person to even want to do that in the first place yeah like that's such a crazy the balls to go get in the ring whether you're good or not good or whatever i think what you're saying serious it takes a special type of someone to just want to get punched in the face and stay mm-hmm. there absolutely you know? i don't know i just think it'd be cool like i just want to try it because my dad did it and i freaking love like freaking training with him and stuff and it's just fun because it's something like we started bonding over over time like all we really did was together is work or just F off and destroy his trucks and stuff. And then we started boxing together and we enjoy it. <laughs> but I mean, everybody, so did. whether you want to do the fight or not, like pretty much everybody likes watching fights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's just like we got like our girlfriends, all of you guys are now into it. Like we started watching like the big UFC fights, the bigger uh, boxing matches. But even if you were just driving down the street and two guys started fighting, it's just your nature. <laughs> yeah, you got to learn and watch. Yeah. You're going to watch. Like yeah. everyone will watch. Yeah, it's like built into your human instinct. You just can't turn away. It's something bad. You don't see it every day. You're just like, I gotta, gotta get me a part of that. I yeah. never had fights in school, but CJ used to always have. Sometimes in in middle school there was a lot, but like most of the kids who were like fighting in middle school, then by the time they turn like 16, they're out of there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why it seemed like there was more in middle school than high school, which is interesting. But I was never in one. One time though, there was a kid on my on my hockey team. He like. It was, like, interesting. He, like, was a new kid. He, like, joined in. And for some reason, we were beefing. Mm. And, like, I felt like there was a locker box coming up. When people propose that you can't really back down, luckily it didn't happen. But I, I was, like, you know, kind of concerned. Like, I should probably, like, know how to do a little and bit of, like, punch. boxing. You're just wearing your hockey gloves. Hockey gloves and a helmet. And, uh... Which that used to happen a lot more in the locker room before there was phones. And then when kids got phones... Uh, you'd videotape it, put it on Facebook, whatever. Then and you got in trouble. <laughs> then you, then like parents came in and and stopped it, and you know you could get like in really big trouble, get kicked off the team, and all that. Because people were actually getting like really hurt, mm-hmm. um, which is funny because you still got a helmet, and you're hitting with gloves, but doesn't matter. You get you know so still get rocked. Wrong. Um, so anyways, I went home and like my dad is a black belt in taekwondo, so he knows how to like you know technique and in, into that kind of fighting so he like i put my helmet on get my gloves and he's like all right i'm gonna no show you shit. yeah yeah he was like no, trying to get I me ready not picture this dude i but can't that, picture yeah, this dude at all i was in eighth grade and it was maybe only like five <laughs> ten your minutes mom walks it was just like, like five ten minutes treats five ten minutes but like it was the same thing as yours i knew no technique knew knew nothing and like he he like tagged me a couple times and i was like damn Maybe I, I should just do anything to avoid this. I don't like box. this. <laughs> yeah. I, I just realized, and yeah, that was pretty much that. But never oh. had to box. But yeah, that goes back to the technique thing. Yeah, take me up a couple times. Interesting. And uh, that was that. 
Well, it no, was crazy. no real uh, fights aside, your stamina is boosted because when you told me the whole, yeah, I got second in the ditch banger, you went to that at, at dude, uh, just GRX. being in shape. Dude, yeah, congratulations. I'm like, man. dude, wait, I can't imagine how winded. happy I'm you I'm like, were when did you like plate. get good at snowmobile racing? I know it's on vintage, and you're like, no, I just outlasted everyone because I had really good stamina. I'm like, dude, it makes sense. Dude, the prior years that I've done it, I haven't even been able to finish the race. Like the one time I just fell off the sled because I couldn't hang on. Gassed out. Yeah. Also, everyone's like, I can't believe you won. I'm like, I took second. second. <laughs> I have so many second place trophies. They're All basically I, like, congrats on finishing, man. All well, I saw, dude, was you holding that above your head, cheering. I was like, nice, good, he I'd got say. first. Who'd you yeah. lose to, like a professional? Like, no, he lost oh. to one of the guys who owns the RX. Oh, well, then and he was no, a professional. Right? No, 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 I wasn't no? even in his class. No, oh. no. Yeah, okay, Andrew's okay. in the pro oh, class. Yeah. Then we got mopped. Wait. Dude, so you, you weren't were even the, in the pro you class? Were an no. amateur. Yeah. Were there like 12 year old Take this man's trophy away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. No, honestly, Jake, I saw that and I was yeah, just was so cool. happy for you because, like, I know how much that means to you because you love racing. And, and it just never seems to go that way for you. No, it never works out. No, ever. No. And so I saw that and I, I considered second place first, you know? Yeah. I, it was a win. You had something second, over you your me? head? I'd be happy with second. I thought sure. it was funny when. Uh, there was that girl coming up to you, <laughs> Dude. and you were like, "Yeah, what's up, baby? Yeah, I won the dish banger." So you were just, you were just like, "Ah, first, second, what's the difference?" Was you know? Audio, audio, first, was second, yeah, close enough. I will say, like after that moment, like kind of hit hard. They just kind of came out of the woodwork. They really? saw the trophy yeah, for like, taking second. Yeah, track like, snacks. Yeah, I don't think they. <laughs> That's what they call them. Yeah, like girls that chase after like the winners. At, wow, at the races, track, track snacks. snacks. I've actually awesome. never heard that until today. It's a fun Makes one. Sense. Did you just come up with that? No. That's a oh, that's a known thing, I it's guess. A term. It's a term. I, I didn't term. even know that because I've never won. Good. So Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, just learning about it now. That's what I've heard. Jake after his next one, oh, I'm getting kinda hungry. I could use a snack. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So uh, they were flocking. Oh yeah. There was like undeniably hundreds of them. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, bet. I thought yeah. you were gonna say two. Yeah. No, no, I think there was two. Yeah, you said there's 4,700 spectators. Yeah, that was for actually a, crazy. A, old school snowmobile that race, that just shows 5,000 like, people. People were hungry for some snowmobile entertainment this winter. Yeah. It was a perfect storm because it was 50 degrees, perfect day, no snow anywhere else but ERX because they made so much that it lasted so long and just everybody and their brother came and brought all their snowmobiles. And I was like, this is packed. Like, there was more people there. They set, announced it. It was the biggest snowmobile event of the entire 2020. Uh, was it 2024? 2024? Oh, yeah. 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 Like the season. season. This, yeah. Oh, that's it, cool. It was like the biggest one of all of them. Bigger wow. than the Nationals, the, what, all of them, the drags, the, so everything. Yeah. That's sick. It's pretty cool. They that's came off for you to get kinda, second, too. Yeah. No, that's so cool. They're all there for you. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Are you still doing the the uh, cold plunges? I am. Yeah. I, it, it's it's a grind. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So, it's, like, in the mornings, though? No. I, I actually switched tonight. Because, schedule change. Yeah. I had a schedule change because, like, we all used to meet in the mornings, and then everyone kind of dispersed and had to get back to, like, real life stuff. And now it was just, like, like the only... sleeping? Yeah. Well, everyone's just, like... And then me and Tommy were the only ones going at, like... 5 30 in the morning i'm like there's no reason to do this so i, I just started to go at night <laughs> yeah which yeah. one said that because i feel like you know you're both like grinding out like yeah this is crazy right yeah. and then one person's like yo what if we just like didn't Slept do this in. yeah well i think me and tom looked at each other and we're like this sucks like let's just do it at night and i'm like yeah but uh yeah i still try and do it every day i'm gonna do it probably after this and I love it. The fact that you and Justin did like 17 minutes. I'm not going to lie. I was worried about Justin's health. Like, what I was, dude, was going on there? Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Like, I was like, I'm in this to win it. And then I realized, like, Justin's still next to me. I'm like, this is his first time. He was time. untrained. Yeah. He was untrained. He did not look well, though, after that. No. He looked sickly. We I had did. it on my Snapchat story, like, the whole document, the whole thing. And the thing is, is after four minutes, you're pretty numb and it actually gets easy. Yeah. It doesn't get easy, but it gets a lot easier. But the problem is, the longer you stay in there, when you come you out, get? I mean, it's my first time I was in there for four four minutes, and it took me, like, the whole day to warm back up, like, my toes and stuff. But Justin, man, he just looked disheveled after that. He was just, like, a shell of a human walking around he with us. He had his hands, like, against the pool table, and he was leaning against it. And at that moment, I'm like, dude, are you actually going to be okay? Because, like, I, there's, like, stories of, like, so once your body goes into, like, hypothermia Shock. or like st organs start shutting down like sometimes they won't fire back up and i was like 
dude, are you good? Like, are you good? And he's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm freaking cold. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> <shit."> <laughs> like, like, yeah, we were just in the. We should have hopped, had him hop in the hot tub or yeah. something. But no, he's good. He's a tough kid, dude. I Props to him. 17 minutes first time. I ain't doing that. Oh, that ben. is insane. Yeah. Have you done one in the lake yet? No. You got to <gasps> join, man. It's a, it's honestly fun. It is. Like, no, I don't think that like, don't do 17 minutes, but no. do three or four minutes, and it's honestly enjoyable. I like yeah. it. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm super down. For one, I think that you're on something because you were telling me that you think the cold plunges are uh, helping you, you know, tone, tone up. Like, you've definitely just, like, lost a lot of weight and you know toned up it uh makes your metabolism fire up to basically burn a bunch of calories to warm your body back up correct correct yep and honestly it makes a lot of sense and i think it's been proven just by seeing you like i believe that yeah so i do it for that but i more so do it for the mental fact of like i want something super hard that you don't want to do that i have to look forward to every day like mm -hmm. i you jumping jumping in the lake you know like make it part of your schedule like this is gonna suck but like now i look forward but does to it, you it know? suck for you no that's the thing i enjoy it like i almost yeah. turned something into like oh this is gonna be miserable this is gonna be miserable to now like frick man i just can't wait to like jump in the ice bath and it's almost like the hardest part of your day is done and if you enjoy the hardest part of your day you know it, it makes it so much easier 100%. interesting but there, yeah there's tons of like stuff behind it like you said like it I don't know which part of it like basically helps burn the brown fats or takes the brown fats out or something behind it. There's makes sense. I didn't do all the research, but I just you listen just, to everybody <laughs> talk about yeah, it. But yeah. I mean no. basically you're That's also touching stuff. on the fact that it is mentally helping you too. Just mentally yeah. overcome, you know. The hardest part of your day is now the easiest. Yeah, that's a that's a good way to look I, at it. I though. truly believe that doing it in the lake with the ice around you oh, out the in the in the elements of Minnesota winter winter is the hardest way to do it, I think. So what are you going to do now that it's getting, like, I mean, the water's only going to get warmer eventually. Right? Yeah. So I think I'm literally just going <clears> to, <throat> I got an ice maker plunged in for my shop, and I think I'm just going to have to get That's a big great. ice box. That's so, great. Yeah. So, like, I'm, because, dude, I was buying bags of ice, and it got expensive. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's you like five, ten that. bucks a day. So I just want to get, like, a big horse trough yeah. or something, and yeah. just, I'm going to have to let her rip. That'll be easier because, like, you don't even have to leave your home. You yeah. just hop right in. So That's the cool. hardest part for me about it is, like, you got to go over there, you know, have all your shit. Get back uh, in your truck Get wet. back in. You're mm -hmm. all wet. Your truck's, yeah, you know. Something that sucked. The heater went out on my truck. The blower oh, no. fan. So you're really cold. Then. So when I had to drive over there, my truck was as warm as it was outside. Like, it doesn't warm up. So I drive over there, jump in, plunge, and then have to drive all the way home. Nuts. Oh, dude, Freezing. that is crazy. That's, yeah. that's got to be the harder. That's how it's getting harder. Right yeah, there. and that, like, was the, the, the hardest one I did. I went and jumped off Longbridge. It's already open. It was, I wanted to be, like, the first yeah, person. I saw to that. that was yeah. sick. Yeah, you gainered off, of, like, Longbridge yeah. in, in February. That's pretty sweet. sweet. Yeah, a little <laughs> cannonball gainer. Yeah. But, like, once I was driving home, I'm like, I don't got any It's a long heat. drive this home. This is really cool. <laughs> But yeah, should've, should've walked in the long bridge, you got a couple cocktails, yeah. warm yourself warm up. Yourself could've up. gone into my house. That true. Oh, you could have right go there, use dude. Ben's sauna. Yeah. <laughs> I come home. Your truck is parked sideways in my driveway. <laughs> Doors you see open. Wet little footprints <laughs> running in. <laughs> that boy so you, funny. you did too much in that lake again. <laughs> There, have you looked into like the physical benefits? Obviously, it's working good for like your mental health, but there's no way that it gets any better for you spending 10 minutes a day in the lake. I don't think anything past 10, but I do think between like four and 10, there's a, a little difference of like, I notice when I do four and I get in my truck, I don't know. I don't shiver. Like, I'm not like, <laughs> but Jesus. like when I get past, man, you are just, just fucking seasoned, honed in, dude. Yeah. But when I do past 10, you start shivering, and that's when you start burning like calories and get your. They say you're supposed to do it until you shiver. The Nobody's more, gonna build a tolerance to sit in sub degree water forever, you know, right? Yeah, but like minutes. But you, you definitely might. have built a tolerance. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I I'd think, say even I have, and I yeah. haven't done it much. But the thing I think behind it though is your tolerance is like a more mental thing. Like obviously, maybe it gets a little better. But what's his name? Uh, Hoff or whatever. He did three and a half hours. That's nuts. In the glaciers. Well, there's a there's a video Yes Theory wow. made where they went and visited uh, and lived with Wim Hof. They show, like, the mental aspect of, like, getting ready. And, like, you're basically doing, like, meditation. Breathing exercises. Breathing yeah, exercises. Else. And then they show going for, like, a hike through the mountains. Out where you it? Did no, they have shoes no, on or no? No, they're just hiking through the mountains barefoot. Oh. Man, maybe they had shoes on. I don't I think, think you they could did, lose though. your shoe, your feet. Dude. Yeah, it would seem. And they're just like in their uh, shorts, 
but they're hiking through the mountains. Like, you know, I guess getting wet and being submerged in the water for 10 minutes is one thing, but that's not going to kill you. But getting hypothermia out out there, like, how, how do you do enough, like, breath work where you're straight up, like, telling your mind, okay, don't get hypothermia. Like, how does that work? It's not, like, mental toughness at that point. No, but it's weird because, like, it obviously works. He didn't die. Like, and he's, like, a freaking, I don't, I don't understand how it works. And I've always wondered, I'm like, if I were to go in the lake for three and a half hours, I'd probably be dead. I'd agree. Like, just anybody yeah, else. Yeah, most, like, most people, and, and that's, like, very common when people go overboard. Uh, on like cruise ships or like you know out out in the ocean it's like you know it's not the fact that you drowned immediately it's that you freeze before they can like get you out of the water right. yeah i mean eventually though like your your muscles and everything start just like getting working. so slow cuz which is what happens even after 3 minutes that's why it almost get but like you start moving it's like a delayed reaction so yeah. imagine you had to tread water eventually be too much. Yeah. Stop, stops working, let alone yeah. you get tired. Even if it was warm water, you can't tread water for forever. God, that would... Oh. That'd be the worst dude, that way. That would be the absolute That'd worst. That'd be the worst way is drowning or burning. Oh, I'd say burning over drowning. But my... Yeah, probably. <laughs> my goal is before the ice is off Pelican, I want to do 30 minutes, half hour. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, last, like last thing on this, as we... That's CJ like my asked, final like, goal. What are you going to do when it gets warmer and how are you going to transition to, I guess, not doing it in the lake anymore? I think it's going to be sweet as the lake. Let's say the lake's at 40, 41 degrees. You'll be able to sit in there for quite cool. a bit longer than you do now. Yeah. Yeah. And then as it gets to 50, still mm-hmm. very cold, you'll be able to like literally chill in there for as long as you want, I right. think, at that temperature. But Dude, we yeah. should get like a bunch of grandstand stadium seating and put it around the hole. And sell when, tickets. Yeah, and sell <laughs> tickets for when Jake Jake's long 30 Jake. minutes. Plunge. The yeah, longest, sit there. The longest plunge in Corn Rock. Everyone's just sitting there silent for like 30 minutes. Just listen to Jake screaming. Dude, going, that, oh, that could be a got fun. Got a hot dog stand that Mike's man in. He's selling. <laughs> yeah, but he's <laughs> eating all of them. Bro, if you guys, <laughs> he's just buying all of them. If you guys <laughs> buy me a hot dog stand, I will run it like the best hot dog connoisseur you've ever seen. Well, I can't believe... That we haven't yet. That's actually a that's good a idea. really good idea. Yeah. Good video. I'm like studying. Yo, what if we went? What, what are you doing, Mike? I, I'm taking a trip to New York to study the best hot dog sellers on the street. Dude, I was gonna say, what if we uh, had a trip where we go to New York City, and then we see how many hot dogs you can eat in 24 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why am let's I, why do that. Mike let's would buy that it. city no, out of hot dogs. No, oh I love God. hot dogs because I hear that idea. Like, I have the same excitement for that as if you're like, let's go, like snowmobiling in the powder, deep snow. I'm like, yes, I'm in. Dog. Let's do it. I'm writing this one down. This one. But I, I let, let, <laughs> hey, let's take one that down. one further. Like, I like that idea. And then, like, then the, ne- the next day, like, I should open my own hot dog stand. You start running one. You'd be good at having, like, one of those hot dog stands that they do downtown that's open from, like, 11 p.m. till 3 a.m., like, bar time. That is yeah. kind of your hours that's of like operation. Hours. Yeah. yeah. That would be Everyone awesome. Everyone would be like, how do you like, you know, your job? You'd be like, it's great. I only work from about 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Get to talk with drunk people all night <laughs> and eat hot dogs. Literally <laughs> your <laughs> life's dream, yeah. bro. Mike's just, like, great. giving them away for free. He's like, that guy was hungry, and he didn't yeah. have much money. Yeah. yeah. He uh, spent all his money. He bought all his boys great free. vape shots. So. <laughs> yeah. I just want to help I him I love out. that. I'm, like, full of dumb ideas. I'm like, I uh, was trying to just figure out a good way to market. How do I be different than any other hot dog stand? So I went for the 2.5-foot hot dogs. They're selling pretty decent now. Jeez so like, Louise. That's a ever, huge hot dog. I'd like yeah. to see you eat one of those, Mike. How many hot dogs in 24 hours do you think that you could eat? I'm so glad we're over that in phase. In 24 hours, dude? I mean, not that many, like 25. It's a hot dog an hour. I'd agree with that. Yeah, like I think by then I would be like, I feel like throwing up even though I'm not that full. Like twenty, like one an hour. That's a lot of dog. It is. Because yeah. you're not awake for 24 hours. That you're going to you know. True. I got a double. All up. right. 25 dogs. 25, 25 dogs. dogs. Uh, yeah. And, and for every everyone that's at home, like, oh, I could eat 50 hot dogs or I could eat 10 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Probably. Give her a yeah. try. Yeah. Try so it. Hard. I guarantee you can't. It's much wish, harder than is, when you put it. You should recommend When you put a time it. limit on it, uh, it gets really difficult. You guys ever watched a hot dog eating contest? Yeah. 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 Joey Chestnut's yeah. one of the yeah. greatest athletes of our generation. It, like, I put him up there with Tiger Woods. The greatest. Yeah. Okay. That shit is unhealthily <laughs> next level. Amazing. Like just, I've seen him just take out a literal buffet of hot dogs, and he is just. Yeah. My only question on it is, why is it gotta be hot dogs? Like, why not cheeseburgers? Or something like hot dogs? It's just not. A, I think the hot dog was invented first. Why? I'm sure there. There <laughs> that's is. Why? That's why. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. If, 
You get a fact check on that? I, I think it's because it's just like, it's funnier. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely yeah. funnier. Like, yeah, that's maybe true. that's not why they do it, but like to the general public that's like interested in, in that being a thing. Like They have hot wing eating competitions too, I think, but it, it, I suppose it gets a little bit harder because there might still be some meat on the bone. You got to really be, or the hot dog, it's like the whole thing's got to go. I could put a pretty good run in, I think, at a watermelon eating contest. Hey. I think I could. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just I'm, I'm just, just laughing you. with you, dude. Yeah. No, I'm just picturing <laughs> yeah. Ryan. I'm just going ham, dude. Yeah, there's no way to do that cool, but typical for me. Hot dog was invented in 1484. 1484? <laughs> hamburger hamburger was invented in 1885. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, 400 went, years. Dude, dude what uh, the fuck okay. are people Undisputed. doing? <laughs> That makes no sense to me. So let's Raining say let's champion. let's say when they invented it, it wasn't a, fr- a Imagine gross a hot dog. Yeah, but it wasn't like a. It a, wasn't Oscar Mayer. No, it wasn't though. a gross Oscar Mayer, like like a shitty one. It was a you know I Sheep didn't know skin. this when they when they make brats, they really like wrap them in like intestines. Yeah. Is that that's how they encase them? Okay, seems insane to me. I still love them. The fact that they came up with that 400 <laughs> years before they came up with just so grinding cool. up some hamburger. Yeah. How did nobody think it? of the cheeseburger and, until the 1800s? And the we, hamburger was invented in Wisconsin. We invented wow. electricity before that, didn't we? That is nuts. Honestly, when you look at like how long the world's been around, to think how that a long cheeseburger the things that are part of it for 200 years, so a part of our life today. Everything's really new, even hamburgers. What year was the hamburger again? 1885. That's like 150 years ago. And then the hot dog was like 500. And I feel like right now the whole world is on the hockey stick curve of like technology improving. Like think about when we were kids. For sure. Versus now versus like when our parents were born versus where are that. Like it took, like they are just coming out with new stuff so I mean, fast, so crazy. And there's like no limit anymore. Like. Dude, people driving around with these Apple goggles and stuff and, like, just gambling casinos while they're making breakfast. With and cryptocurrency. Crypt- yeah. Oh, I mean, like- everything is just, yeah, it's 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 exponentially faster right now. It's just It just keeps building And The Simpsons and is still on track, dude. They make an episode in 2006 about people running around with goggles on and what do you know? Yeah, it really it is. happened today. It is How the heck, man? That's so amazing. How are they still thinking of shit to do for that show? I watch it. I've watched the whole new season. Simpsons is a great show to just have on in the background. You know, it's yeah. a feel good vibe. For some reason, it just makes me feel all fuzzy and warm inside. It reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. Just like having it on like at night and just, I don't know. Same it's with South good. Park. Oh, South Park's the best. They just don't make enough of them anymore. Yeah. yeah. I was watching the um, Minnesota State Hockey Tournament last night. The high school boys. It's a big deal. How bored Minnesota. were you, my guy? Eh, pretty bored. My cousin was in it too. Not he this plays? year, but a, not figured. this year, but a, a, a previous year. <laughs> what, like Ten years ago, he's like, "Oh, I got to watch the Minnesota Ryan. State tournament." Yeah. My cousin played in two thousand four. <laughs> yeah, so did me I, and CJ's cousin. Yeah, so you guys should be supporting the boys <laughs> out there. But anyway, uh, I didn't really realize this, but it's I think mostly exclusive to Minnesota is the hair tournament. Yeah, and like because you you skate up. To like the line when they introduce oh, yes. you, yes, I've seen, and it's TikTok like a thing that everybody does the craziest yeah. hair yeah. you possibly Dude, can. Hockey in Minnesota is crazy. I mean, they f- pack the entire Alara Center, that the NHL Wild Center, which is like thirty five thousand XL people. Energy, so. XL Energy. I mean, for high school, it's packed. There's not an open seat in the place. Yeah, that's it's fucking a professional nuts stadium for high school hockey games. My friends in college used to say that North Dakota was a state of hockey. We used to get in fights over it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I mean, for, with that. for North Dakota's, you know, per capita of how many like professional players come out of it, though, it's probably pretty close. Like, mm, like out of Grand not Forks. as many as there's not as many as uh, as Minnesota for sure. Like yeah. actual Minnesota natives. I mean, yeah, there's just Minnesota more goes more North hockey Dakota. in Minnesota, but there definitely is some some NHLers that have came and came out of North Dakota. Just love me some hockey. I do yeah. love hockey. Favorite sport to watch. I've kind of come back around to hockey too. I was watching watching some the other day. It's fun to watch. Mm-hmm. You like watching that more than football? Mm. I like football. I like still. football more. I, if I was going to go to an event live, well, I've never been to a UFC fight, but if I was going to go to an event live, hockey is the best live event to go to. And people will dispute me on that with football, but there's always something happening with hockey. Football. I like agree. Hockey is more the fun play. in person. In the yeah. I mean, I still think I'd choose football, but like if it was down to watching. Like, you know, a big, big game. Mm-hmm. It'd go probably UFC 
football, 100%, hockey, hundred percent. A major like UFC fight or boxing is like such a special. You know, there's only so many a year. Maybe like three, four of them that think, are like a really big hyped up deal. Yeah, instead of like eighty of them a year. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, like with UFC and with football, football comes on Sunday morning. No better time than sitting down Sunday afternoon. You got nothing else to do. You sit down. You watch football. Like who's gonna? Leave work at five on a Friday to go catch yeah, no a hockey kidding. game. No like kidding, I'm not yeah. going home today. They got too many games. That's, That's why they got too many games. There's only 14 or what is it? 14 or 16 games in the NFL. Yep. What's the worst? Baseball. Baseball, dude. Baseball's yeah. gotta be the worst. That's why they have empty stadiums every freaking. Well, time. I mean, NFL, you can't have 80 games a year. People are. Oh, like, you be can dead. barely do 15. You know, like they are getting so beat up. It's honestly impressive with hockey though, because hockey is extremely physical too. I think it was ranked the number one most athletic sport. Or actually, it might have been something really ridiculous like golf or something like that. Yeah, I think motocross. Motocross is number one. Motocross. I believe that. Yeah, it was this was physically demanding or something. I would have 100% agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. It is amazing to think about because a lot of people just think you're just turning the throttle. Like, you know, you're just riding the thing. But, dude, your head, like, you get arm pump, you're dead. Like, it's, yeah. yeah. I dude, don't ride dirt They bike, should start. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. They know. should do it with those saw blade wheels, dude. The arm <laughs> pump was insane. So they're shaking the whole thing. Yeah, you just yeah. get an arm pump holding on. That thing was shaking so bad that it was running bad. Like, I don't know if it yeah. was shaking the freaking piston in the cylinder. So, like, it yeah. was just like rattling the whole thing loose that it sounded like crap. I know. Like, I don't know what was going on there, but that was. I've never seen that before. I can't believe it worked. Like dude, those so and it worked things good. were heavy, dude. <laughs> when Gav was putting them on, he's like, here, like I'm holding the bike and he puts that freaking nut through for the front wheel and it just goes boom. I'm like, yeah. dude, that thing's like 200 pounds. Yeah. It worked great. It's yeah. real tough riding next to Evan because like is. he's just an extraordinary rider. But I felt like I did pretty good on that quad. I felt like I was going right. fast. Yeah, you were. Thing was, no, you were doing great, Ryan. The thing is, is the dirt bikes just, you can it's do just so better. much more with it. It's so much like, better. Honestly, uh, go watch even like quad FMX or oh, dirt yeah. bike. Like the quad yeah, just yeah. can't do as it's much. Limited. It doesn't go as high. It's just everything is kind of just no like, whips. it's not the same. I mean, they can, but it's just not as good. And uh, that's kind of thing. But how about. The sheriffs pulling up on us last video right after we had our last podcast, kind God of talking damn. about how they thought we were it's unfortunate the, timing. the yeah. suspect so of driving timing. through the Cormorant store. We dropped that podcast and like we're not trying to like talk shit on them or anything. We're, we're not, not trying, trying to, to make them look up. bad. We're not we don't like we have friends who are sheriffs and police officers and even state troopers, but we're we're in favor of of Absolutely. You know. Then they come pulling up. <sighs> When we're having the fire in the video, it's like we weren't even trying to do it, but now it's like they're just God dang, well, couldn't get away from it, dude. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What just, weren't we trying to do? I wasn't trying to get in trouble. Well, well, I mean, we're, we're not trying to, trying to, trouble, to like film a video, like but, using oh, them in yeah, the video, but then sure. it's like it was just such unfortunate timing, being that we dropped a podcast earlier that day, kind of oh, making the, fun yeah. of the fact that the they situ- thought we the were possibly yeah. a suspect mm-hmm. of something that we didn't do. Well, dude, I just think it's crazy that you have to get a uh, uh, fire permit. And then call it in. Yeah. It makes sense. Honestly, it does make sense because you could just get it and then it varies day to day. Right. Yeah. But I, I get uh, it because if it's super dry, it'd be a big deal. You, you could, could burn start down a lot of stuff. You could have a lot of, you know, a wildfire basically, which makes sense. But we we didn't realize it was too dry because Ryan got the permit. So we thought we were doing things right. It wasn't too dry, too. We did fair. And it which wasn't is good. too dry. But, but yeah, that guy pulled up and. Um, he was a little short. He wasn't maybe trying to be a dick or anything, but he was being a little short, which then didn't help his case in the video. Yeah. Well, and then the fire department shows up and that guy was just like, Oh yeah, back. you're good. Just activate the thing tonight and we're good. See yeah. you later. <laughs> it's tough too. Cause he probably didn't want to like act like it was no big deal. True. And then the fire department was, gets there yeah. and then is in trouble. With that. I'm be like, wait, he said it wasn't a big deal. So it really is in a tough spot. I the, think the other thing is you can't get mad at the sheriff for doing that because he was probably called in to go do that. Right. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, I, he didn't want to be there. there is a, he is getting a lot of hate in the video, which is was not by any means the goal. Tension. It was just kind of like, I don't know, it was just a funny little thing to have in it. You know, like anytime you're having something like that happen and you're already filming, you kind of got it. It's just, it makes the video more interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he got a lot of hate. But honestly, it probably wasn't even his decision to go there. I'm sure someone just called it in. They said, you know, dispatch oh, yeah. who's, who's in the area and... I don't know how exactly how it works, but then those two went. You know, 
don't got you can we can lighten up a little bit, but yeah. But last was, week we we just didn't like being a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be a suspect of something they didn't do. You Ryan, know, like it's not a good feeling. Ryan was the guy. Ryan was the only suspect, clearly, because they didn't even look at any of our. <laughs> They're just like TRX. We got him. But it was it was a little awkward then. So it was like the, the, it was right the police after the came pod, and right. then the the fire department came. They're all on call. It's a small area, obviously, and they came and then. Everyone was just kind of in limbo. We're like, are we good? And they're like, yeah, this this fire is clearly not out of control. Uh, but they kind of stuck around. And then I was like, I had some wieners. wieners you know, wieners. hot dogs. Yeah. Of course, Mike's got a hot dog. Of course, he's got a hot dog. Got a hot dog. Oh, they're really chilling without I, it. I got to clear it up, boys. Was, they were like way goo. Big beef. game wieners, dude. <laughs> yeah. They were big. Literally, it was yeah, big game wieners. Yeah. And that's why I didn't want you burning yours. It wasn't on the camera. Yeah. But Mike was roasting it. I was afraid it was getting a little burnt. And I had already had they were two gourmet. of them prior. Gourmet. I don't know how much they costed. We were giving them as a gift. And I was just like, Mike, don't let that yeah. thing burn. Because I want you to have... I just want you to eat it in its prime. Yeah. Like, but it I was, was like, so good. I was roasting it like while the like cops the were there. Yeah, cops I mean, were it's still tough there. To and I was like, well... I was, I was planning on roasting these on the fire. That's clearly not too out of it's control. Going out now, so, and then I did, and it was amazing. Did you offer them? No, maybe you could have offered them a bratwurst I for their time. Have. Yeah, Mike's upgraded. He only likes good wiener now. Mm-hmm. Or do you still <laughs> like, like bad big wiener? game? Yeah, big game wiener. He'll still, <laughs> still eat it all. Yeah. yeah, just prefers the big game wiener. I saw. I saw a comment. It was like. Did Evan rip his hammer off and put it on a stick? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> what? That's what we call out of pocket. I almost replied, "Way too small to be his hammer." Yeah, way, but, way too small. Or is My it? Goodness. It was. Uh, it was. It was funny reading the comments for that video just in general, because uh, apparently that's where they draw the line of, yeah, of safety. Too, too dangerous, you know, for what subs want us doing in those those dirt bikes and the, or the dirt bike in the quad. That Those was were dead. over the line. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was too dangerous. Them, yeah. It was a Which couple like, please keep making videos. We love you guys, but like, this is too far. This yeah. is too risky. Which we weren't particularly expecting the magnitude of. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of it. it I was think very it was just different because, like I said in the video, if things go so south, like on normalized tires where you get like sucked up into it, it's a bad day. Right. right? And that's never, yeah, that's never happened. That never. would be a really bad day. Right. But you also got to kind of play the odds like, is it going to happen? No. Not. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. It did feel pretty secure. Like, everyone was riding that yeah. thing like a normal, normal <laughs> To be bike. fair, we were, when we were building it and when we were doing it, for how bad it could have gone, and, and, like, we've done a lot of other things where, you know, someone's about to do something dangerous, which happens a lot around here. And before that, you, we were kind of all sitting around on camera, and, and you know, we're – we're weighing it out. We're calculating how things will go, you know, trying to get a feel for it. And, and people are like tense. There's sometimes like one person or two, maybe will be like, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we should do it. And typically if that happens, we don't do it. But like no one even had a second thought. No one even thought once about it. We were like, yeah, this is dangerous, but it it was like very secure and like just hopped right on. I remember when you were grabbing the bike and revving it, I did yell at you though, Ben. I was like, watch, watch your, your foot. foot. Don't yeah. let your foot get in there, Ben. Cause you were revving it. And it was like, it was pretty Ooh. close, dude. But otherwise, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, if, if it fell off, if you think about it though, like our insane ice pick tires that we had on the sand rail and the razor are very similar. Like if that, wouldn't you know, be good either. Just flew That'd out be something. pretty similar. Yeah. Which it did fly out. Like imagine that freaking i think one real. thing that never ceased to amaze me so like not being totally disconnected but not seeing what you guys are doing every single day is so funny because like if i'm ever gone for like a week or two weeks and i'll just see a thumbnail and i'll be like huh no shit like it's <laughs> just like i want it is I, so clever some of the things you guys come up with i'm just like that's fucking awesome like i'm literally like it is so fun to see because like yes or whenever i came in and i'm like Holy shit, what are those saw blades for? And Gab goes, oh, we're putting them on a dirt bike. And I go, where's the creativity stop? <laughs> like, I'm just like, it never ceases to amaze me. I'm just like, they never miss. I'm like, they just Damn. got it going. Damn, Damn, Jacob. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I do Very love nice that. Topic. When you come in and you just so happen, even if, because some of the stuff we do, we, we execute Monday to Wednesday and it's out on Thursday. But yeah, you'll come in and be like, oh yeah, so what have you guys been up to? And then I'm like, oh. Dude, sh- I have so much in my camera roll. Um, <laughs> and then so you're like, holy just, just shit. Just drove a truck through Ken's yeah. house on Wednesday. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Other than that, nothing. Well, we have like so many builds going 
where like these builds take a long time. You guys put and, a lot of work into them. And so we're like as, as planned out as we can. You know, there's like certain times where we'll be in between things or certain things will fall through where we're like sitting down here and we're like, oh, what do we, what do, we do this week? You know? Right. And uh, over the years, we've gotten better and better about not having to be in positions like that. But this time, it was last week, we were like, okay, we're kind of in between things. Uh, we got to come up with something. And the saw blades was kind of just pitched, and we are like, that's great. Let's do it. How did So, like, how did... Idea was yeah, who's that? Was, that was Ebs. Because that's that's one of those things that I hear, and I feel so bad about this. I hear that, and I go, "Yeah, like, it's, it hasn't that been done." You know, like I almost brushed over it. So I'm it so had, glad that it, it got had been pushed. done, but never like to that yeah. magnitude. And oh, it was a lot never of people that had cool. done it. Yeah, and then that's what we we knew that it would be better if you hollowed them out so they'd be lighter. But we were adamant that they had to be solid, actually solid, solid, <laughs> solid because it, it would like look that. the look was so and important. one. Once we were like kind of planning it after the idea, Ev really wanted to do two because it would have oh. been like more functional. I don't think it would have been still. So. And, that, and we were just like, thing. honestly, dude, I don't think it's going to be that much of a difference and it's going to look way, way cooler with just one single saw blade. And he was like, yeah. okay, well, let's just do that then. You know, so it's like mm-hmm. kind of figuring out which direction it's, to go. It is a really a group thing though. Like someone might pitch the idea, but then executing that idea or like how we're going to go about it is when, you know, it, it is a, a group thing. Yeah. Like there's a lot of contributors to even to the idea or after the idea and just everything. So, yeah. And I mean, like we're pretty good at coming up with ideas, but Gavin and the big red making them actually yeah, work. Yeah. Them we're like saw amazing. blade wheel. And they're like, okay, well it has to have a bearing and shit like that. And that's, some pretty crazy stuff. Well, that, yeah. That was the one thing I was going to say. My, one of my favorite thing that you guys do is when you take an idea and you just keep stacking and stacking and stacking and finding the limit. And just like when I saw the shirt, that was the tiny truck. I was just like, all right, the, the tiny truck's doing this now. And I was just like trying to think of like how easy was it to do that for like him and him yeah. and like how much time goes into that? Cause like when I was watching, that was the an vid- easy one for them. Well, I was going to say, Same with the wheels. cause when I was watching the video, I was like, they made that look like it was literally bolt on and go. And like, I just didn't know like what else was there to do with it. And it's just like so cool how you can just boom, you know, yeah. and like just That's taking one of my, one of my favorite of parts of the process is the, the time between when we're all green lighted an idea. Oh yeah. We're all on board on that. That's a good idea. Let's plan for that next week or whatever. And then, seeing it blossom into what it actually takes. Mm-hmm. takes and a lot. Everyone yeah. jumps on, uh, whether it's getting supplies, whether it's engineering, whether it's just firing right. d- dumb ideas that we know we sh- probably shouldn't do. I don't know. It's funny that we're talking about this now because I don't know if we're actually going to be able to post this next week because we're going to be traveling. We're trying to make shit happen, and uh, we're just so tapped out on time. I don't know. There might not be a video with this us, Thursday, brethren. so we're sorry about that. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we will be back the following. And if there ever isn't a video, obviously, like we'll try to tell you, and that means there's stuff in the works. Yeah, it means there's yeah. lots. Yeah. Of stuff we're not in the just works. sitting around watching TV. Yeah. It's like it just sometimes a build <laughs> takes longer. Sometimes whatever. But yeah, Jake's TV just got <laughs> yeah, dude. massive TV. How so big we is might it? be just yeah, sitting around yeah, watching dude. TV. That's what we're fucking doing this Ryan's weekend. Ryan's got the picture. Okay, next fight. I don't care what it is. You guys, this are Saturday, over. we're it's, watching Sugar Sean versus Cheeto. Okay, look at him, dude. He's look like taller. Than holy him. shit, dude. that thing is yeah. huge. So if you guys are Here seeing this go. picture, Jake when got him. He finally got himself his hundred inch TV. It's he talked it's about big. it a while ago, six how, months yeah. ago. How, so what is the the dimensions of it? It's just hundred. Hundred. Yeah. It's just. Just 100. I, I, I thought it was 160. No, no, it was going to be 120, but dude, I didn't it, fit. The price difference. Three reasons. Oh, yeah. First of all, did some measurements. Don't even know if it would have fit through the door. Second reason, from 100 to 120 is like six to eight grand, depending on whatever. The third reason, I'd put 120 on the wall. I'd have to put my couch like against my garage door. <laughs> you to have to turn your head to watch. Yeah. Turn your head. So I was like, this will do. And when I measured it, I'm like, dude, this is still too big. But I'm like, this is so me. Like, this I, yeah. is a talking piece <laughs> yeah. when people come really in. Is. I tell you what, Jacob, I just looked it up. And for a TCL, they are not giving those things away, How much? brother. Two, two racks, huh? There was three. It's on three, sale. Nuts. Three racks? Yeah. I, got, I think I got this for like, I, I did get it on sale. It was like 2500 bucks. I got it for really? $83 yeah. a month. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. I kind of feel like financing. an idiot. I just bought one of them uh, Samsung frame TVs that look like a picture. It was like two grand. So I should have just bought a hundred. Yeah. 
Yeah. Holy shit. Can you dude, imagine a 100 inch TV on your house, in your <laughs> wall? You spent two I mean, grand no. on a TV, Mike? Yeah, it was close. How with big this, is it? Oh, he with spent this. 700 on the chair yeah. that he's sitting in. You're Money surprised Mike. right now. Money Mike. Hey, when's there's it? one thing about Mike. He likes oh, luxury. He just broke oh. it, dude. He likes nice things. Yeah. And he likes a lot of them. And he likes no. stuff. I learned that. Wow, well, I learned the I learned the luxury from my boy Ken. Yeah. Ken loves like don't luxury. cheap out. Ken, what's the last luxury item that you just bought? Oh, I did just buy a Cybertruck yesterday. Ooh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That oh, I didn't Ken. buy it. I I confirmed my order. I wonder that's, if so. But still, regardless, no that's exciting. When? That's huge. Last night, but no. it's supposed to be here April to June. What? No April? Way. That's that's you fucking know Ken, soon. You know, Ken is a valued. Tesla customer when he gets bumped. Dude, that's I feel like that's pretty early. That's, and it's yeah. been ha people have been asking since we made that video in 2019 of order or of yeah. doing the hundred dollar deposit Ken's down. Nice. When's Ken's Cybertruck gonna get here? We're like, bro, they're not even out. Yeah, yet. now they're finally like, out. Dude, but yeah, so oh, it's actually God. happening. I'm not surprised one bit that yours is coming because you've had so many. But ahead of the curvy is like, didn't you do it too? Yeah, yeah. But I, I He's didn't a get valued mine. customer. Ken's platinum somehow. That's sick. they just so took Ken. Ryan's money. He not. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Dude, well, bucks. I, I did have to pay another thousand dollars to potentially get it in the next three months. So we'll see if they actually oh, hold it. up to that. Did you, see, did you see the problems that people are already having with them? Though? Yeah, they're like rusty. The yeah, rusty. Rusty. No. Oh my gosh, dude, a little bit of stainless rain. steel. Some it's still rusting. That's yeah. not the move though. Yeah, dude, I, I rust buckets. I really like when they wrap them black. I think it looks oh, so, so sharp. Yeah. I think you got to do that, Ken. Did you guys see that That uh, Tesla posted a video of them going up Hell's Gate? I did, yeah. Yeah, somebody stitched us, actually. That. A guy was like, well, Tesla just dropped a video taking their uh, new Cybertruck up Hell's Gate. But did you know that C-Boys took a crotch rocket up <laughs> Hell's <laughs> Gate? So is it really that impressive, Tesla? Dude, I, wow. didn't, I didn't realize how iconic hell's gate is until after we had done it like we were just kind of there and they're like yeah yeah hell's gate that's where we got to go up and we're like okay where is it or if, you know gavin takes us there at, we're, okay this is the supposed the hardest thing here evan you know almost does the whole thing but uh then after i like realized how much of like a Iconic like place. statement yeah. it is like manufacturers bring their vehicle there to like prove how good it is which a kia sorento went up I, I, just watching that I think that, you know i'm sure alex loves to hear that my girlfriend but uh she's a big fan of kias um <laughs> sorento and that's actually and the crazy kia boys are probably very happy to hear that too you know, uh, a good testament to their brand but the, the short of evan going up that on the crotch rocket has 162 million views cripes on Naughty. on just youtube i wonder if it helps like so if it if it if it made it better at the fact that he didn't do the whole thing, you know, the fact that he like put it down almost at the top. I think it's he he still it still haunts him. He's it like, does, I could have yeah, done that. He loses I sleep over that. that. Yeah, he's like <laughs> mad about it. I'm like, I don't know, man. I think it worked out pretty good. <laughs> yeah, crazy. but but Hell's Gate pretty legendary. We got to take something back there. We've been trying to figure out what to do with it next. We got to figure that out. What's the next item? It, I don't know, Hell's man. Gate. I what, feel what like. What else do you do? I don't know. I feel like Nylander is the Minnesota version of Hell's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> the, lo the local snowmobile hill that everyone grabs a case of beer and goes and sits at the bottom. Just watching people pile up. I was just somewhere, and they go, yeah, how steep was that hill, the, the hill climb hill that Evan went up oh on, the, gosh, on yeah. the snow bike? Uh, the Harley snow bike. And he goes, yeah, like compared to Nylander Hill, what was it <laughs> yeah, like? And I'm like yeah. Dead Bro, serious yeah. conversation. And I went. A lot worse. <laughs> like, but it is funny. Yeah. Maybe twice the degree. But yeah. then it was funny to hear, well, too. Dude, the they were talking about, so, like, Nylander Hill, the local hill. It is nothing compared to that hill that Evan went up on that. It's so, well, so <laughs> le much less steep. And he's talking about, he's like, yeah, I pretty much built, I built this whatever old sled pretty much just for that hill. I, wow. It was not that It's like deep. a big deal around here. Yeah. Funny enough, though. Last year was the first time that I'd ever been to the hill. Really? And I was okay. like, this is the hill that everyone's been talking about. This is the legendary hill. And uh, we had with our, our two-seater. Oh, XLT. XLT. Special. And so I think Ryan hopped on the back, right? It was, yeah. it was I was driving. Ryan hopped on the back. And uh, we didn't make it. 
<laughs> we we legit didn't make it up the, up the hill. But that's just funny. And then it's we had to like back down and not, go back down. It's not because it's too steep. It's the most Midwest thing ever. It's because it's too, too icy. icy. Yeah. So yeah. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. So then like you're just committing to like probably not making it and probably piling up your sled or at least tipping it over onto no a snow. Trees, yeah. 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 That's the there, only yeah. reason it gets destroyed. Yeah. You're just chucking it into rocks and trees. Yeah. God, classic. Oh, Local awesome. legends, dude. I have a I have a good story here, really quick. So every once in a while, I'm not I'm not that good of a drawer. I have told that before. So sometimes sometimes I get stuff made on Fiverr. Send out like an idea. Can you draw this car? Make some skeletons in it. Whatever. I sent the order off like a month ago, and usually they send it back within five to ten days. Whatever their their thing is. And 10 days came by, and I haven't seen anything. And I'm like, dude, this is usually not okay. You usually can get your money back. And I'm like, where's my stuff? Still, another almost month goes by. And I'm like, what, what is going heck? on here? Like, I, th- I should probably get my money back. And then he finally reaches out and goes, I'm so sorry. And keep in mind, this is some, a guy in India somewhere. He sends me a, an x-ray of his torso and was like, sorry, mate. I broke both my arms. <laughs> So I couldn't finish your order. What? And he sent me an extra. And maybe this is some elaborate excuse. Seems too insane to be an elaborate excuse. But he sent me an extra. And both his, I don't know what this bone is called, but both of his arms were snapped in half, like need surgery type of vibe, like need screws and plates. That's bad. And then I'm just like, piss someone off. Listen, yeah. So that (laughs) was my next question. I'm like, dude. I I, I He's asked like him. like a local artist. He didn't. He, he pissed somebody yeah. off. He didn't sure, uh, share how it happened. I asked him. I'm like, dude, that's insane. Totally understandable. What happened? How did you break you your arms? Me, and so, if I do find out, I'll give you an update. But like, that's what worried me. I was like, what if? Whatever, making money online from people in the United States isn't allowed where he's from or something. And Maybe there's some racketeering going on. And they're on. like, dude, how you make money by drawing, we're going to break both your arms. But Mike, <laughs> Mike is like, like, remind me to, to never go to India. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just insane. Yeah, like, can you imagine your way? I'm like, you know, hey, this drop, the drop's coming up. I, I really want to see this design. Like, yeah. you haven't provided me anything. And he's like, I broke both my arms in half. I don't want to say that I don't completely buy it, but... I'm 50-50. Because, yeah. like, it, it could so easily just been, like, like look up. I was going to say, look up on the internet. The dude could have just totally been like, oh. oh was it like. I, I was hoping pers- this guy wasn't going to follow through was it on like? this. It could have been one of the many Instagram videos I've seen come out of India lately where people have worse happened to did them. It, did it look like this? Aw, poor fella. It did kind of look like that, though. It's the same colors. <laughs> <laughs> you can only see his bones. <laughs> X-ray. Poor mate. He came up with a cool design, though. So, you know, when you like on your Instagram, either post something or all of a sudden you see something on your feed, you kind of see is cool and you go down the rabbit hole of uh, whatever that may be. And your feed slowly becomes more and more and more and more of that. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. So, you know, when like Evan is like hanging a crazy wheelie on whatever it may be. And now there's just like a bunch of people wheelie and stuff. My feed turned into that, but it was someone like Evan doing it with a tractor just down the highway. After I posted my little tractor reel of me drifting, my feed was just nothing but people doing rads Stunting up on tractors. Yeah, it's and I'm like, what you can do with a stunt tractor? Well, dude, there's guys like 50 miles an hour just hanging these things like Bob, 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 Bob. Like it is crazy. I'm like, where are and it was like it reminded me of that because it was definitely not in the U.S. But they got like these fully modded tractors, which is like V8 blocks, and they're like doing 360 wheelies on its back and just hauling down the road. I'm like, what do people not do in this world? <laughs> no, yeah, wait, no kidding. Dude. Can it's, we can we get a tra- Mark? You can get us a modified tractor. You're just the guy. A wheelie yeah. tractor? Can you get us a wheelie tractor? <laughs> got a guy for everything how things here. work very yeah. quietly mark goes i'm sure well we don't have a tractor mark we don't need us i got a tractor oh that's true you do i don't mike, think you can wheelie, a tractor but... or a wheelie no of course mike has a tractor uh, yeah i do have a tractor i've actually been really meaning to bring that out for a video i, I could see it sitting out in front uh, yeah, yeah sit in the yard i'll bring it great. over i'll bring it over this Maybe spring park it next to your water truck can we put a mower yeah. on the back of it at least we could Sweet. Yeah. It's all worth it. It's yeah, a, that'd be it's sick. It's a though. 1937 a... John Deere Model B. Wow. That so it's, old, it's a classic. Two-cylinder. Re- restored? Yeah. Oh, nice. damn. Then you got to keep that thing inside. By yeah. who? My dad and my grandpa. Oh, that's, okay. awesome. then that's pretty Yeah, it's honestly getting special. weathered now, but it's got the uh, the spoked wheels, so those are the sought after. I got it oh, as my cool. graduation gift. But seriously, I haven't meaning to take it out, but I'm like, what do we do with it? I think probably wearing 
uh, my the same outfit as I wore when I was on the Farm water truck. Farmer o- overalls, yeah, no, yeah. So, oh yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll throw this hat on and, that yeah. is and some overalls, and I'll drive the tractor, and you guys can have a good laugh. Good stuff. I, love it. I, I think, think you got to take it to Zorba's. Sure. I'd love to see that. <laughs> Jake cannot. Jake's gonna it. He's literally like, <laughs> dude. When Jake and I were getting our drift cars going, or Jake's got a kind of a, a borrowed drift car, and I got trying to get my drift car going, and he literally has said, "I can't wait till this summer when we're tandeming to Zorbas." <laughs> and I'm like, Everywhere is just to Zorbas. Yeah. Yeah. All roads lead to Zorbas when it's summer, dude. <laughs> When it's you our local in- local pizza establishment. Yeah. <laughs> I just like I think anything cool happens when you're rolling. You up gotta there. go, no, to dude. And you guys like, know hey, I wait. gotta surprise you guys with something. Go to Zorba, <laughs> sit on the patio, and I'm gonna roll up. Yeah. Every go. time Jake has something to show, like, we're already there. <laughs> you actually know that that is a true statement because the fat kid wheelies a quad. For, for burrito. burrito. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was <laughs> the Zorba. whole idea was based on. Well, let's just let's see, just wheelie to Zorba's. Zorba's. That was that's where it started. Was, yeah, it's just like the end goal, you know. It's got a million views, I think. <laughs> All for a burrito. Fat kid it wheelies just, for a burrito. Yeah, <laughs> Jake, that's what we Jake is doing a wheelie, and he's just got a little belly <laughs> on, just a little <laughs> tiny <laughs> bit. Yeah, just a little ass cracking. You know? Not too much, though. Not too much. Out of your gym shorts. Oh yeah. no, it's fat kid rides with no shirt in freezing weather. 38 degrees. Jake's always been doing stuff with his shirt off, though, in, in cold environments. Like, yeah, it never you, changed. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Now you're just cold plunging, but yeah. you used to ride snowmobile with your shirt off. Everything you'd want to do shirtless. And we're like, dude, just put a shirt on. Dude, <laughs> I accepted my body, okay? I was just like, <laughs> I am happy with it, and everyone else is going to be, too. <laughs> Jake is just like a little pudgy, like a little bit of a muffin top, and we're like, all right, our resident fat kid. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. <something."> yeah. <laughs> We were maybe stretching that one a little bit, but yeah, that's that what made a little it so stretch. funny. I think a lot of the comments are like, he's that's not what fat. Made it so funny. I remember for a while, CJ couldn't keep his shirt on either, but like, it's not, it hasn't been <laughs> like hot. Dude, yeah. dude, that was a, like that, actually we every hot time. Outside. All right, we're about to start we filming. CJ again? takes his shirt off. I we're never like, did. We're that, like, no. bro, what the fuck? Dude, no, we'd just be fall. filming. We had no AC in the shop for the longest time. You're sweating your nutsack off. I was just watching, I think, the video of Ryan when he gets his new Jeep, and then he tries to do the donuts and goes through into the pine <laughs> trees. I think CJ was shirtless in that video. No, I was like, why is CJ shirtless right now? Well, that, and that I didn't get the, back in the gym. That was the ongoing question. Was like We'd turn around and be like, oh, why is he shirtless? <laughs> Again, and then he went through the bro tank phase There's, too. No, just where you were, you didn't wear sleeves for a summer. Oh. Really? He was hitting oh. biceps. All right. A lot. Well, I do remember that, but the tank tops you were wearing were cool as fuck. Dude, well, I've done some weird shit too. I just don't accept know. it. <laughs> just yeah, accept maybe, it. Maybe. Jake's like, it's okay, dude. You're <laughs> weird, man. I got it's like your back, brother. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't know. I, I I know I used to take my shirt off a lot, but that was back when we didn't have AC in the shop. <laughs> Packaging orders. Hotter and you know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Use this one. Remember when we were painting tiny in the driveway? I can't remember. It was either yeah. right before you left or right, right after. 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 When we were painting tiny in the driveway green, and then somebody shot Ken with a paintball, paintball gun, gun, and Ken lost it. Sorry, I hate to bring yeah. this up, Ken. But what? that was funny, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I, I was thinking about that the other day because that was, was funny. Ken was he got so mad that shorts. we got he wanted paint new shorts, on his man. shorts. He got fifty bucks or no, something. No, I was there for that. Yeah. I because tiny, you paint, we were talking about you painted and then green. Ken got yeah. the guns. I was there for that. And yeah. Ken got the guns somehow, one of the paintball guns, and then he was chasing Ryan around, and I tried helping Ryan, and then Ryan turned on me. <laughs> oh and just yeah, was like helping Ken to get me when I was trying to help Ryan, dude. That's and I was just like. I don't even know what to think right now, Ryan. Did we, <laughs> yeah, the loyalty. Yeah. Did, did we ever end up buying you new shorts, Ken? If not, we owe we you didn't. a pair. We didn't. We didn't. No. What's that? We'll we get you a pair. That. Yeah. It Can you pull? Matter at this point. Somebody pull that Just up. Clip that yeah. one moment when Ken gets shot with the paintball gun and starts getting mad, Ryan. I'm so glad that we're over our paintball gun phase. Well, we I can't do it. Shot, we can't dude. do the yeah. paintball because uh, you got limited ads one time. Yeah. You got. You got. You know, trouble by YouTube. So. We can't, yeah, we can't do we, fireworks either. And Tint, Tint is our our fireworks supplier. Yes. Yeah. And so we went through a little phase where we were that just getting fun. like the craziest fireworks. But we had what? What were they? M M eight 
They were like M80s they were on like, steroids. Some were like more. Yeah, they were 100% legal. Do you remember when we <laughs> sent that jet ski above uh, the shop? The I have the video. I have the video. So, it's so awesome. So we, we our first shop was in uh, like an HOA where there was a bunch of shops around. So like every time we would do something super crazy, it was like kind of in like the common grounds of like our All community, shops, right? Yeah. And this time we thought it was a good idea to blow up a jet ski hull. Like a jet ski that didn't have a motor just in it. Just a shell. It was just a shell, right? And we put one of Tint's special taped it to a two by fireworks four. in there. And it blew this jet ski hull like to the moon. Way higher than the building. Fifty dude. feet high. Yeah. And it, it sent jet ski shrapnel basically <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. So I think when we like moved out of that development, there were still jet ski parts like on the other roof. people's roofs. <laughs> I think we were <laughs> Still in like our like reckless phase because as the video turns around, there's just a parking lot of people watching like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> like entertaining just a crowd. What you find it? <laughs> Ryan shot him in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ken, he was moving. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you can't buy a nice pair of shorts for 50 bucks anymore. It washes out. That doesn't matter. It comes off of water, bro. Here you see. Like, like Seed said, it was five Fuck. years ago. We all did a lot of embarrassing <laughs> things. I love that Ken's You guys love me. bringing up my embarrassing <laughs> past. That is all you love bringing up. Oh, my gosh. Unfortunately, we that all... That was the best part of that whole video. The rest of it sucked dick. <laughs> Fuck you, CJ. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ken, camera. we all have long, embarrassing pasts that will probably continue to get brought up. But I, pre like, I think a lot of people noticed. You've, you've turned a real new leaf now. You're all happy. It's good. We love it. <laughs> Everything good? It's just got nuts. I've liked you this whole time, Gary. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> I don't think the whole never time. Not liked him. <laughs> Damn, is that what I said? Yeah, That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Damn, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> to be fair, I think if you just watch any of our videos, there's plenty of embarrassing moments for all of us. So yeah. much. Oh, just dude, cringe. one time Ben put his. <laughs> In Ken's ass. Yeah, oh, bare bro. face. Well, uh, Ken's yeah, bare I was ass. told if I didn't do that, I was going to get tased. <laughs> I would have taken the taser. No, you got tricked <laughs> into it, Ben. I yeah, think you're better off saying that. <laughs> <laughs> he told me in private one time that he wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. lots of embarrassing. I mean, you guys all know I eat hot dogs, so that's embarrassing enough. Well, uh, I mean, a lot of people eat hot dogs. Really? You guys all act like you don't do it. <laughs> I don't think that many people eat hot dogs. Yeah, it's oh, not like, like nothing. No one eats hot dogs. Like, yeah. like, like good Mike. stuff. Mike. Well, Ken, what do you you want to send us out? All right. Thanks for uh, tuning into the Life Wide Open podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Nice. That was right. so the, nice. TrustyBoysTV.com. Hey. Yeah, get entered for the truck giveaway, dude. Yes. And check out on Jake on his social media. Thanks, boys. Go Mom's Eyewear. Get Eyewear. yourself a new pair of shades. Summer collection's coming. That's right. It's gonna be sweet. And uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Laters.